Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the fourth time now I'm filming this intro. I don't understand technology. If you're new here, hi, we have a lot of malfunctions. Most of the time it's like quite a few in one video here. I'm kind of like in this weird funk and I feel like this happens to me every year, the week in between Christmas and New Year's when I have time off and like can be productive and really focused. I just am so tired and I do nothing and then I have anxiety about all the things that I'm not doing. And so today was just like a crumbling anxiety day. Um, but I'm here and I've shown up and I'm giving myself a pat on the back because I don't do that enough. Yes, I'm having an inner monologue with you right here right now, but I feel like a lot of us feel this way. The last two years have been weird. I cannot believe we're entering our third year of COVID essentially. Um, so it's just been a lot. And I think that sometimes we need to give ourselves the grace. And this is me telling you that I had a shit day today. Not that anything bad happened, just internally, inner thoughts, inner monologue. It was a crappy day. So if you were having a crappy day, you were not alone. We are about to make this day better because today, my friends, we are talking about the products that I really got to know in 2021 and really, really got to love. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure that you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below. You can also click the bell next to it. Quick little reminder on your phone that I uploaded a video this way you can come hang out with me again because I would really enjoy that. So yeah let's go ahead and hop into my holy grail products of 2021. Might have some brownie in my teeth that's attractive. Um, I had a brownie before filming this video. Anyway let's talk about skincare. Okay Maraud I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here. You guys know the resurgence Rapid Collagen Infusion Serum, bomb, love it. The Hydration Perfecting Day Cream with SPF 30. I wear this combo every day when I leave the home. This serum is beautiful, really absorbs quickly into my skin. Moisturizer, so good. I have combination leaning like way more so dry, especially in the winter when the air is really, really dry. Very irritated skin, crackly skin, peely skin. My skin peels. It's just, it's a nightmare. My skin is a lot, a lot, a lot better in the more humid months of the year, but you know, I live on the East Coast. We do not discriminate against seasons here, although some of them I wish we would. Yeah, so this combination is just so good if you're a dry batch like me. Wait, full disclaimer before I even get into this. These products were new to me in 2021. Some of them did come out in 2021, but these are just products that are new to me in 2021. So if you see a product here that I tried in 2021 and you tried it in 2019, I'm just, you know, this is what I tried in 2021. Okay. I'm pretty sure this has been around for a hot minute. The Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Oh my God. It is so good. In the summer, I use this. The winter, fall, all months I use this, but I use it a little bit differently. In the summer, my skin is a lot more oily and it's just a lot happier. When I'm feeling really, really lazy, I will double cleanse my face and then put this on and an eye cream and just call it a night. Like that's my lazy girl, let's get ready for bed in the summer. I can't do that in the winter because while this is really hydrating, the skin around my mouth is just like so dry that I need a little bit of extra moisture in this area. So in the winter, I double cleanse, I throw, this on then I'll do an eye cream a moisturizer and sometimes I'll lock it all in with an oil but this is just so so good this is the jumbo size that was a limited edition during the Nordstrom sale I live 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 for this such a good find in 2021 I bought this because I decided to get the new face I love this but we'll talk about this separately in a minute this comes with a gel and this is a microcurrent device and the way that this works it needs to basically all you need to know is you need to use a certain type of product on on your face to conduct the current. And I didn't really like the gel that this comes with. I hate the gel underneath makeup. I feel like it's sticky. It's not hydrating enough, even though it has hyaluronic acid in it. It's just me and the new face gel don't drive. So someone on my Instagram saw that I was talking about it and mentioned buying this Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask so that it's a really, really hydrating mask, super friendly for sensitive skin and is a great conductor of the current for new face. And oh my God, guys, this, is the best mask hands down in terms of hydration I have ever tried in my entire life. And again, I'm a dry batch in the winter. Never had any work done to my face. If you have, again, I don't judge. I say this all the time. I will definitely get work eventually, but as of right now, I have not. And I used to really be bothered by the wrinkles. My wrinkles are under wraps from products like the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery or any of the clean beauty that I've spoken upon in the past. Like clean beauty has really transformed my wrinkles and I'm really not that insecure about them anymore. But this year, while I saw 
solve that problem. Isn't that what always happens? You solve one thing and you're okay with one thing and then it's just like your brain can't help it but you automatically are onto the next thing that you hate about yourself. So I was okay with this and then I started focusing on this and was like, how can I tighten this? An old coworker of mine told me about this new face device. I asked for it for Christmas last year. Mike bought it for me and like I just feel so much better after using it. I feel more confident. I feel like I look younger. I feel less insecure and I am all about investing in things and building rituals for things that make you feel good. Whether it's toning your face with a microcurrent to just like, it honestly just kind of is a workout for your face and it tightens all the muscles and essentially tightens everything. Whether it's a yoga practice, a meditation, like I don't know, going to the mall, buying things, all in moderation, right? But like I'm all about finding things that just like make you happy. And if you want to splurge on something that makes you happy, you do that. And this was something that made me really, really happy in 2021. Did any of that make any sense? I never really know. Chapstick. I am a chapstick connoisseur, self-proclaimed. Like I am a chap stick snoot, a snot, a snob. I don't like a chapstick that leaves my lips feeling dry once it's gone. I like something that is actually nourishing to my lips and will help them feel better in the long run, not just temporarily. So these two chapsticks were definitely my go-to. This one, I'm shocked there's even anything left in this. I have a lot of chapsticks though on rotation and I will not throw out the ones that I don't like because I spent my money on them, so I will use them. So if I didn't have them, this would have been gone and I would have been on my fifth tube of this. Jersey Shore Cosmetics, what watermelon moisture rich hydrating balm. It literally smells like watermelons. I went on the Jersey Shore Cosmetics website. They have other scents, flavors, whatever you want to call them. This just feels really good on the lips. Lasts a pretty long time. I don't feel like it just like vanishes from my lips the second I like take a sip of water. You know what I'm saying? And then once it's left my lips, it really leaves them hydrated. This one is just like a bougier packaging, but I also feel like this one nourishes them a little bit more than the Jersey Shore. This is convenient because it's like quick on the go. You throw it in your purse. It's in like a stick, your tip little chapstick you can throw it on. This one I leave at home because like COVID and germs, I don't want to be putting my dirty finger in here to then put this on my lips. You know what I'm saying? So I leave this in the bathroom at home and I put it on after I brush my teeth every morning, at night after I brush my teeth, and it smells like really nothing. I use this a lot in 2021. This is just a Hask Nourishing Shine Hair Oil. I take one pump of this, rub it between my hands. The day before I'm going to wash my hair and the night before I'm gonna wash my hair. Day before my hair is coming to an end, I'll usually wear like a headband or something, like pull the hair out of my face and I'll throw this hair mask, this hair oil, I'm sorry, on the ends of my hair only. So from like here down, it just hydrates the ends and makes them look a little bit livelier, especially like right before I'm gonna wash my hair. My hair doesn't really look greasy. It just looks really dry. And sometimes it looks tangly because it's gotten so long. So I really need that extra nourishment. This makes the ends of my hair look nice. It makes them feel nice over time too because it is hydrating. This is not like a temporary fix. And then the night before I'm gonna wash my hair, I like take two pumps of this, rub it between my hands and really douse the ends of my hair and kind of treat that as like a hair mask because then I'm gonna wake up and wash my hair. So it doesn't matter if it looks oily in the morning, but it's so, 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 so good, guys. Also, honor I mention, I tried the Way hair oil. I bought a travel size, brought that to Italy. Oh my God, that one smells so good. Like it smells so expensive and it does a really nice job of moisturizing my hair, but this was definitely the hair oil of 2021. For brows. The Gucci Brow Pencil, this is so, so good. This is what I use to fill in my brows today. I just feel like this gives the most natural looking brow. It literally looks, and I've said this so many times before, it literally looks like I filled my brows in with powder, but like natural. Like looking at my brows, you would think like, hmm, did she fill those brows in? or are they naturally her beautiful brows? But like as an artist and someone who has used so many different mediums to fill in a brow, like I always say a powdery brow is way more natural looking and looks just like so much better in my opinion than a waxy brow or like just a blunt brow. And I feel like with things like the Glossier Brow Flick, I like it, but it kind of just like, you need to really pay attention and really take your time and like give the pen 
the same pressure throughout the brow. So something like this that gives that powdery finish and you can just one, two, three, it doesn't really matter. Like I just, this is like a foolproof brow pencil, super pricey. I will not lie to you if you are someone who is good at your brows and you like the product that you're using. By all means, you do not need to buy this, but I went through a really weird, but awesome in the end, like brow transformation in 2021. I feel like my makeup artistry in the past year when the world was like a little bit slower than normal, but also like kind of back to normal. You know what I'm saying? In 2021, that's how my 2021 was like personally. I was going to the office four days a week, was home three days a week. Like it was weird, but like more normal than 2020. I just feel like my makeup artistry got so much better and I finally feel comfortable. And there are certain things in my makeup routine that make me feel a lot better. Whereas before they used to make me feel worse about my makeup and like my makeup skills, if that makes any sense. But my brows really like had an evolution this year and I love them and I think that, <laughs> And I think that it's because of products like this, as well as the honorary mention, Joa Precision Brow Pencil, so good. Favorite, favorite pencil. It's more, more favorite than this. More of a favorite than this one, just because I can buy like eight Joa Precision Brow Pencils for the price of one of these. If you're someone that struggles to fill your brows in, but you don't have the time to like sit down and like be an expert about it, I totally, totally, totally recommend this brow pencil. Lancome Lashy Doll. I don't even need to say anything about it. This is the best mascara that has ever graced my lashes to this date. My mascara is not a lot today. I am running out of this and I just didn't feel like opening a new one. I don't know why because I have three backups of these. Yes, I never returned any of the ones that I said I was going to return, but you knew that that was going to happen. So I have so many backups of these. This just needs to get thrown out. We're going to let her go. We're going to let her go. New year, new mascara. This is the first mascara in a really long time that I went through before before it even expired. Like you're supposed to throw mascaras out every three months. And I think I used this one in like the matter of like maybe seven or eight weeks. It was like two months of life. And now, and now she's done. Il Maquillage, yes, girl. This one is in the shade Make Moves, which is a cooler toned palette. And then I also have a warmer toned palette. Same exact thing, but in the real deal. These are beautiful. I've talked about them so many times. I have so much content on all of my social media dedicated to this eyeshadow palette because I picked this as a product to dedicate my face to every month. If you're new here, I pick a maximum of four products to use on a daily basis. I dedicate my time to them, working with them, finding out the best ways to use them, the worst ways to use them. And then I give you guys the full review at the end of the month. And then we pick new products for the next month. So this was in my dedicated monthly video foolproof if you know someone that loves makeup they will really really appreciate this if you know someone that wants to learn how to do makeup also recommend buying this because that's how foolproof it was like you can make you can't it's just they're so good you need to try them that's i'm just gonna leave it at that i should have mentioned this earlier with my brow products but this is the billion dollar brow brow duo concealer and highlighter so i use the highlight to shape the bottom of my brow after filling them in with my gucci brow pencil or my joe precision brow pencil and then i take the other side of the stick to shape the top half blend that out and it basically just cleans up any eyeshadow product that maybe got out of the lines helps me to reshape them even further kind of just makes the brow look crisper cleaner more natural it's just this is is a step in my brow routine that I will never, ever, ever, ever skip. This was definitely game changing in 2021 and I will continue to use this until there is literally nothing a nub of it left because it's just so good. Full disclaimer, if you want to shape your brows in such a way that I just described, you can do that with your foundation, your liquid foundation, your liquid concealer. You do not need this product, but I will say the convenience of this product has made sure that I do the step in my brow routine because this is just, it. like I said, it's just so convenient. Tower 28, this one in after hours and then happy hour, I just, these were, the blushes of 2021. This is what I'm wearing today, this color. So it looks like very deceiving in the pan. You know, like you kind of look at this and you're like, oh God, that is so dark. But on my cheeks, you just can blend it into nothing. But do keep in mind that a little goes a very, very long way. Uh, the first time I applied this was actually on my channel and I looked like an effing clown when I applied it because I put too much on. But these just like melt into the skin. They jutes up the skin. They make my cheeks look flushed. So I just look radiant and youthful. But they also add a nice little, not a shine, because there's no shine to this, but just because it's such a moisturizing kind of 
cream adds like a little bit of jutes to the skin like a little bit of hydration that just naturally any hydration is going to leave a little gleam in any kind of lighting so just really sexy really beautiful again this is in the shade after hours but i think i loved happy hour even more it was a lighter more brighter shade and it that shade literally matches the flush of my skin so it looks super super natural every time that i wear it but i just feel like any shade you can get your hands on you cannot go wrong and i also wanted to mention this brush which i don't know what this is i'm gonna find it and i'm gonna put it down below because i used this every single day and the remnants of what it was is gone i do know that it's a crown brush but i cannot see like what it is but it's just this dome brush guys it's just for my cheeks especially it just does such a good job of like throwing on blush and I probably shouldn't have thrown this on because I did powder but you can also kind of get away with that a little bit to an extent. This is just like the most amazing brush and no other brush that I own applies cream blush the way that this brush does. If you can get your hands on a dome brush like this it doesn't necessarily need to be that this exact one. Life-changing. <sighs> So good, chef's kiss to both of these items, honestly. Another cream product that stole my heart this year, the Yensa Sunlit Glow Bronzing Base. Guys, oh my God. When I opened this and saw this for the first time, I was like, okay, that's kind of a light shade for a bronzer. But for me, it's so, so good. It is warm and it does lean orangey, but it's really, really easy to blend in to look super, super natural. And like that is a really good like sun kiss. It really is what it's called a sunlit glow. I don't look super dark. I don't look super tan, but there's just something very youthful and vibrant and sun-kissed, like a light dusting over my face. This is so good. Not a day goes by where I sit down and do my makeup and I don't use this. If you buy the kit, it comes with the most amazing brush. I just cleaned that brush and it's in my bathroom. I'm too lazy to go get it, but if you've watched my channel, you've seen it so many times. But if you can get your hands on the kit, pricey, but worth it. I've never tried the Chanel Soleil de Tan. Okay, full disclaimer, but I feel like this is a pretty good dupe for it. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to buy the Chanel because I do want to see how they compare. However, I'm not going to buy it now because I still have this and I'm trying to be mindful and not wasteful. And I will let you know for sure sure if that is a dupe. Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Face Palette. I use this every day as well. I will say out of the four, I use the highlight and this lighter contour shade the most. I never use this. I just, it doesn't complement my skin tone. If you're someone that has a darker complexion, I think you would love both of these, but this is just too pink for my complexion. And this one I just don't really gravitate towards, but these two shades, oh, so good. I love it. This highlight is so good. It's what I use to put in between my brows like every single day. Today, I also put it a little bit in the inner corner, a beautiful set up. It is really pricey. I think it's like $75. I don't think that you need it. This was gifted to me in 2021, which I am honestly like shocked. And it really, sometimes I cry. I'm not kidding you because I'm just like so thankful that I get things for free because I used to like watch YouTube. And while well, mind you, I don't have a lot of subscribers at all. I used to watch these YouTubers get free stuff all the time. And I'd be like, wow, if only that could be me one day. And it's pretty cool that Charlotte Tilbury sent this to me. So yeah, I love this. We'll definitely continue to use this in 2021. I freaking love this. I hate, hate, hate that I broke the mirror, but this is the Scott Barnes number one sculpting and contouring palette. I dedicated my face to this in December. I did use this throughout the year though, okay? But it wasn't until December 1 where I sat down and I used this every single day and it is just so versatile. Anyone of any skin tone can use this. The shades are super complimentary. The undertones are good. Honestly, it can look a little intimidating. You're kind of like, what can I do with this? What do you do with this? If you don't know, watch my reels, my TikTok videos, because I showed a lot of this. And if you want a further rundown of it, I think that's going to be my next video. So I will link it up here when it does go live as well as down below. I use this to contour my face, bronze my face. I use this diced shade to um, sculpt my nose, which I am so happy with my nose contour. Life-changing, game-changing in 2021. I finally figured out how to contour my nose where I don't look insane and it doesn't look like my nose is in jail okay we've come a long way it took us a bit of time finally we got there and i really like this this is so good and i think you know if you're a makeup artist you need this if you're anyone i think you really need this last but certainly not least i have to find the cap to this i'm wearing this lip liner today the charlotte Tilbury iconic nude favorite lip liner this will be gone soon and i'm gonna buy like a couple of these in the sephora sale i think the next one is in april i'm gonna buy a ton of her because i love her so much this is the best 
best lip liner. Matches the shadows of my face. I can overline the crap out of my lips. It's just so, so good. I love it. You've seen me use it so many times. Guys, if you are lipstick lovers, okay, I am a lipstick fanatic. I upload a lipstick video every week. Every Monday, in case you didn't know or haven't caught on, I upload my lip combo of the week. That is the lipstick combination that I'm gonna wear that week. I gotta be honest, like this finds its way into my rotation at some point during any given week. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Super basic. I'm not wearing this today. I'm actually wearing a NARS lipstick, but I will put this on top of it just because this is just, I love this lipstick. I am a basic, basic bitch, and sometimes it's easiest to be basic, and sometimes we just like easy, and that is what Pillow Talk is. Feels really comfortable on my lips. I am shocked that there is still even any of this left, but this is so good. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. I highly recommend these two together. This is was my number one worn lip combo of 2021. All right, guys, and that is it. Those were my most loved upon beauty finds in 2021. Be sure to leave me some love in the comments. Let me know, have you tried any of the products that I mentioned today? Did you love them as much as me? Did you not? Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment and let me know what was your most loved purchase of 2021. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell before you leave. I'm also going to pop a couple videos on the screen here at the end if you would like to watch more. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.